Hey, welcome everyone. It's it's great to be here, and I'm uh, grateful to Big Pay for uh, organizing this and fighting through uh, 17 different canceled venues to find us this uh, this aw awesome space. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting to see the Atrium product, which we've been talking about for some time, and and all the other really cool development going on in. in in Cardano ecosystem, so I'm 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 really placing big hopes and expectations on this community. So as as I see the next few years unfolding, I mean I I tend to agree with my old friend Ray Kurzweil. You know he he posited in 2029. We're going to see AIs become as smart as people, which he called the singularity. And then he thought there'd be 16 years from that to massively superhuman AI. I think it's actually going to be faster after that point. Like once you got an AI as smart as people, you know, it's going to copy itself, it's going to reprogram itself, it's going to redesign its hardware. You're going to see an ascent to superhuman AI much more quickly. So if if this is roughly right now. Could be he's off by three years. It's going to be 2026 or 2032. But if this is roughly right, it means it's extremely important. Extremely important what platform, you know, the cutting edge technologies they're going to bring about the technological singularity are, are, are built on, right? So I mean, if we're really a few years away, like seven years, five years, ten years away from from creating machines as smart as people, which in effect can do vast majority of jobs that, that people can do, as well as astounding things people don't know how to do, right? If, if we're so close to that, who owns and controls all this power, right? I mean, this is something Charles Hoskinson and I have discussed a great number of times, which I think we see quite well eye to eye on. Like, there's, there's no one person on Earth and no one entity on Earth that we should trust to have, have this much power, even if their intentions are good initially, and for all sorts of reasons that are extremely obvious in human history, from people getting corrupted with power, from other people threatening them and their family members. I mean, there's all sorts of things that can go wrong. Just from narrow-mindedness, any single group has it, I have, that any, anybody has, right? Because we're just individuals. So we need a distributed, decentralized, participatory collective of a huge variety of, of people spanning different countries, different social classes, different occupations. You know, we, we need a great diversity of people to be controlling, guiding the emergence of this technology. Now, blockchain is a key piece of what will allow this because the crux of blockchain is it allows complex software programs running across many different machines across the internet to operate in a coordinated and coherent way without any central controller. And no technology but blockchain now does that in, in a sort of general purpose and, and, and configurable way. But lo and behold, most blockchains out there, for various reasons, are not really that democratic and, and participatory in the way that they're, they're operating, either because of the way the software is built or because of the way that the communities around them have, have evolved, right? And Cardano is relatively close to unique in having a software infrastructure that is designed for genuine decentralization and having a community that, that buys into that and really wants to, to do and participate in, in decentralized governance. And SingularityNet, obviously, we buy into that same ethos in a fairly big way. We're building a platform that allows AI agents running on different machines to collaborate in solving problems, to coordinate at scale, and allows the collective to be governed in a sort of democratic participatory way. We originally built the platform on Ethereum because it was 2017, and that's what was there. We're in the midst of a port to Cardano. We're, we're waiting for more of Hydra to be released to complete that port. We're also developing our own blockchain called HyperCycle, which is a ledgerless blockchain, which is designed for super efficient 
AI operation, but we're designing it to work extremely closely with, with Cardano blockchain. And I'm, I'm working on how to make a Plutus contract interoperate with a hypercycle smart contract through sort of Rust, Haskell, foreign function interfaces. So we're, we're aiming it to operate very closely in, in, in lockstep with, with, with Cardano processes. And I, I think, you know, the Cardano tech is really solid, which is why I got involved in Cardano in the first place. I loved Haskell. I ad admired the fact that, you know, the Ouroboros consensus method was really formally verified. Not many people have formally verified algorithms of that complexity in, 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 in any, any domain of, of, of software development. But I think the community is an equally important part of what makes Cardano such a standout in the, in, in the, in the blockchain world, which is, which is why, we're, why we're here at, at this event, right? And I think as, as we move forward, into an AI economy, which is happening, happening really fast. We want to use Cardano's amazing infrastructure to host one after another cutting edge AI projects in, in pretty much every vertical area, because AI, AI is going gonna, is gonna to transform everything, right? So my, I mean, my own angle on this originally, I'm a mathematician. I spent, I guess, three and a half decades working on, on AI so far, most of which before it became such a popular thing to be doing, right? So, I mean, we're, we're working with large language models, which are now popular. We're also working with symbolic reasoning systems, evolutionary learning algorithms, variety of other AI technologies, integrating them all together. But we want to deploy all this advanced AI, which I think before long will be way smarter than chat GPT and such. We, we want to deploy all this amazing AI R&D on a decentralized platform. And our new hypercycle chain can play a role. We need Cardano for some major things there because it's you know, up and running and operational with a flourishing, flourishing DAP ecosystem. And you know, I'm not pulling all this off alone. We've got a substantial team in Singularity Net Foundation and, and the ecosystem, we're working closely together with IO, IOG. We're starting to build a relationship with, with Emergo. And Janet Adams, who's up here with me, came on board Singularity Net some time ago. She's COO and has been helping sort of coordinate all, all the pieces together, as well as increasingly helping with, that, with public outreach. So I think, Janet, I'll turn it over to you to tell a little bit about some of the specific vertical market AI projects that we're building on top of Singularity Net and, and on top of, of, of Cardano. Thanks very much, Ben. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi, Ben. Hi. It's beautiful to be up here with uh, Ben, who's a, a, been a visionary leading inspiration to me for uh, five years now. So it's also beautiful to be with you folks again. I travel to quite a lot of conferences around the world, and when I come to a Cardano meetup or a Cardano meetup event, it's like everything in me just sighs a sigh of relief and says, ah, Cardano. This is pretty <laughs> much the only crypto events that aren't full of pump and dumpers, basically. Yeah, that's it. yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> it's quite unusual. This is where yeah. we meet, where we meet yeah. the real people, really want to work with us in our close partnerships to make a, a giant difference in the world. So. Thank you all for being such incredible partners to work with, with for us at Singularity Net. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you, Big Pay. Where are you, Peyton? Thank you for putting this on. Right. It's always, you, you're, you know, you're such a good friend of us at Singularity Net, and you always keep us so closely tied into your amazing community. So it's a real pleasure to be here. And I just also want to say thanks to all the people who've been following us around at the conference and coming to our gig last night and coming to this today, you know, we really massively have so much to achieve right now, right here at the start of the AI revolution. As AI is taking off, we need you all to work together with us. There's more work than any one or two or 10 or 20 or 140 of us can do at Singularity Net. Our incredible community support everything we do. They're a very, very strong, very active community, our Singularity Net community. And then there's you, Cardano. So thank you so much for supporting us, for being with us. We're 
still working on staking on Cardano. Sorry, it's been a little bit delayed. Um, but we're going to have that out very, very soon because because you're our uh, closest strategic partnerships and partners. Yeah, and we'll have a few Singularity Net folks in the panels this evening who I guess will will talk about various of the AI application projects that are uh, that, that are, are already launched or are soon to be launched on on the platform. We, we have. We have a huge team here. Please, please all try and speak to each other. If you haven't met at least four people from Singularity Net and Singularity Net people, if you haven't met at least ten people from Cardano by the end of the night, then stay and meet another one. Um, so we've got. We're, we're going to talk through a number of our projects. We have so many really uh, amazing projects going on at Singularity Net. But I wanted to touch on our newest venture, our newest spin-off, which is called Zarka. That's Z-A-R-Q-A, and the website is... Or Z-A-R-Q-A, for, Z. for us Americans. <laughs> I love the way yeah. you say that. <laughs> Z-A-R-Q-A. Um, dot AI, please have a look at the website. And you'll all have noticed that ChatGVT has has come as a, a pivotal moment where humanity is understanding the power of AI and that non-technical people can use AI to benefit, to increase their productivity in life, to help them do a lot of boring stuff and answer things in a really nice way. Um, so ChatGBT is the fastest growing product in the history of humanity. It's grown to 25 million users a day as at maybe four or five days ago. So I did mean to check that uh, up again. But ChatGBT and all deep neural network based large models are extremely limited. In a nutshell, Ben, their cognitive limitations? Oh, well, that's a big, that's a big nutshell. But yeah, I, I think, I mean, without making it a whole lecture, LLMs of like ChatGBT, they have a few limitations which I think will be solved by GPT 5 or similar systems, such as lack of any grounding in, in reality and complete banality in, the, in, the, in their creative productions and not being updated on the latest information. Those things I think are solvable to some extent without breaking the basic architecture. On the other hand, there are other lacks that are, that are more serious. So the inability to carry out complex multiple chains of reasoning, which in the end you need to do science or even to do like literary criticism or investigative journalism or something, you need to make five or ten steps of reasoning, each of which depends on the previous. The architecture of large language models just doesn't do that, right? And the, I mean, the ability to create something that leaps non-trivially beyond the data that you've seen, I mean, these architectures do, don't do that. They're basically weighted averaging among what they, what they saw before. So what, one of the lessons from the success of these large language models is like maybe 80 or 90 percent of jobs people do don't require any multi-step reasoning or any creativity. They're, they're, they really are just munching together stuff that other people has done before. So I think these systems, in spite of their shortcomings, can be quite economically transformative. On the other hand, if you want to take things to the next level, you need something beyond the, the architecture of these AI systems, there are many ways to achieve that. You could try to simulate brains with more accuracy. On the other hand, you could hybridize a large language model with things like logical reasoning systems or evolutionary learning systems. And we're pushing ahead with that in, in SingularityNet. Zarka is a spin-off company building the large language model aspect and then enhancing that with other kinds of AI. We have a project called True AGI, which is putting all these pieces together and packaging it up as, as APIs for the, for the enterprise, for, for, for companies large and small. But what, what's important is if we, if we do succeed to use our hopefully AI wizardry to make something that's smarter than GPT-5 and everyone can see it, if this is rolled out on a decentralized platform, on HyperCycle and on Cardano, then then the world is using the decentralized platform, not because they love decentralization, although some of them do, but because they're using the smartest thing out there, and it happens to be deployed on these really efficient, robust, scalable, secure, decentralized platforms, right? And that's what we're working toward, and then working toward 
cashing this out in one after another vertical application area, some of which you'll, you'll hear about in the, in the following panels. Brilliant. Thank you so much for that nutshell, Ben. It was a big nutshell. Big you were nutshell. right. Yeah. Big nutshell. Um, and just one point to add to what Ben's just said is that we have no technical, functional limitations in our ability to move forward with this work. Because as it happens, and obviously um, Ben can explain to what extent by design, but as it happens, the entire technology stack that we've just built for AGI, our distributed atom space, our meta functional programming language, our AI domain specific languages, our advanced reasoning engine that sits on Hyperon and our open Hyperon platform, they've all been built. We've just laid the foundations of AGI. Now we're getting into the real experimentation and starting to use these incredible tools that Ben spent years or decades building, but they're also the perfect technology stack to develop a smarter large language model with. So we're ready right now. We're launching this project at, at great, great speed out of the UAE. It's called Zarka. And another really important date is on May 15th, we're going to be starting our equity crowd fund sale for True AGI, which is our sister company, who will be able to wrap these large language models in APIs and bring them to enterprise. So I just wanted to leave you with, with one thought, which is, the time is absolutely now. We are ready to light the blue touch paper of the singularity, and it's happening right now. Stay with us, please. Be on our team, work with us, partner with us, and, and join us for a decentralized, positive, brighter future. Yeah. And, and I guess we'll, we'll hear from Mario and Marcello on SingDAO and, and Sophiaverse and DeFi and, and Metaverse. We have Kennedy on uh, AI for, for biotech and longevity. We, we have Diane and Nefertiti on the AI for music and building, building the Jam Galaxy. Chloris on the Tracer coins, which is the next step beyond stable coins. So we got a lot, lot, lot of cool things here, all of which need the kind of infrastructure that Cardano has been building. So. Thank you, everyone. Lovely to see you all. Thank you.